Alright guys, here we are. At <laughs> Alright guys, here we are, we're headed to the open. Uh, Steve and I, we're gonna be fishing the James. What do you, what do you think they're gonna be uh, biting on? Frogs, swim jigs, buzz baits, senkos. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna, we're gonna video the whole, uh, video the whole, the whole trip. We'll Crank be down baits. here for like, <laughs> we'll be down here for like 10 days. Uh, the tournament starts in a week from today. We got a meeting next Wednesday. So we're gonna get the boat in the water early tomorrow. Stay tuned. I love it, that hamster. James, get a shot of that, man. Did you get it? He's the hamster, look. So. Alright. Come on off, man. One more time. We got, wait, tell me when you're ready, James. That's what we're talking about. The hamster, what's that all about? Is that uh, like your pet at home or what? No, that's my nickname. I traveled with Richard last year and uh, we kind of in a group chat together and he started the hamster, so that's what they call me. That is awesome. Today's weight for you, four pounds and four ounces. It's going to fall a little shy, but 17-11, you're sitting in fifth place, man. This, this is just great. Coming to Bass Pro Shops on Saturday, that's fun stuff, huh? Yeah, this is my first time to Bass Pro. I made a cut last year, but it was uh, out in Champlain, so it's cool to be here. Thanks for coming, and uh, I just want to say hi to my family back home. All right, well, you did it, man. Thank you. Got a GoPro, too. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Evan. Thanks. All right, everybody knows this yeah. guy in the fishing industry. He's no stranger to winning from Erie, Pennsylvania. Come on up, Dave LaFebra. Yeah. Dave has 27 pounds and three ounces. He's got five kids limiting. Nine one. You're dodging all these bullets, man. Tough out there today. Thanks, man. This guy, don't you? See you again. Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of AP Bassin. Uh, today I'm just gonna kind of go over how my first open went this year. I didn't really do the the video blog last year, but I'm gonna start doing it this year. I did a little bit of video during the actual uh, during like the practice and stuff. Not a lot, so maybe next time I'll do a little bit more. But right now I'm just going to go over the three rods that I caught fish on, that I weighed in fish. First day I caught them on something, the second day I caught them on something, and the third day I caught them on something. So uh, we'll go over the first day's, uh, first day's uh, lure first. I was throwing a Corrado 200E7, 65 pound test Power Pro braid. And I'm throwing that uh, with a rivet. I was throwing a, a uh, what is green greenback tree frog rivet. Uh, throwing that on a Dobbins rod, uh, this is 766 Champion Flip, uh, and I'm just rigging that 
just as a top water bait. So uh, just rigging it just like how you normally would rig uh, Texas rig soft plastic. No weight. And I was just throwing that above the submerged grass on the James River, not on the pads. But I was fishing up the creeks uh, the first day, and uh, I sacked uh, one really nice fish, probably about all over four, close to five, probably. And then I had two little guys that I caught uh, on this as well. But this seemed, I caught like 12 keepers that day, and the, this seemed to get me the bigger bites. And my uh, pro actually missed a giant on this too. So that was what I was throwing the first day, that ribbit. Corrado 287, Dobbin 766 flip. Able to horse those fish out of that submerged grass. Then we've got uh, the second day. Uh, it was a little bit tougher. A lot of boat traffic. That James River was getting beat up. That place is, it's an okay fishery. A lot of giants, but it was getting beat up. And uh, that's when I switched to kind of more little finesse style. That's a Excite Baits uh, Slim X in a Green Pumpkin. And you know, I didn't, this is not a traditional rig, but it's kind of like a slider rig, but I put a, a little 1 4 ounce tungsten on there with a bobber stop, a uh, 3 out EWG uh, Superline Gamagatsu, and then just Texas rig that little Slim X, throwing that around brush, throwing that around grass. I just slowed down, I got three keeper bites that day, uh, and that was what pushed me on to day three, and I was sitting in fourth place. So that Slim X came in, the, was probably the biggest key player, just because it, it helped me to advance on and uh, catch my three uh, bites, which was one of my goals, try and catch keeper, try and catch my limit every day, and I did that this tournament. So Slim X, I was throwing that on 17 pound test, uh, Seaguar fluorocarbon, Invisex, Aldebaran, Shimano, with a Powell 72 medium heavy rod. Then the last day, I was fishing with uh, Dave Lefebvre, and we were fishing uh, more towards in the Chickahominy River, up uh, more towards the dam, and uh, uh, he was throwing a frog, he was flipping a jig, and it was cloudy out, so I figured, hey, maybe I'll pick up some fish that are cruising around those pads that aren't pushed underneath there, just because there wasn't a lot of sunshine that day, so that's when I uh, caught my three keepers that day on a max tackle chatterbait, uh, it's, it's a half ounce size, so I was trying to throw it really far. That chatterbait was key, but I also think that Kytec on the back, a lot of action. Uh, chartreuse, that water was a little tint. It wasn't dirty, but uh, I think the chartreuse really let them see it, and they, they hit it very aggressively. I think if they see a bait in that, in that place, they hit it. So I was throwing that on 14-pound test with uh, 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 what is this? Shimano, f drawing a blank, uh, CI4 Plus right there. That's their new, uh, their new reel. Throwing that with 14-pound uh, Seaguar and Vizex. 6-2 six, six, to 1 gear ratio, slow down that chatterbait. Throw this on a 7-2 Powell Diesel. This is a $69 rod. Throw spinnerbaits and chatterbaits on this rod. Love it. Uh, but that was my day three. That max tackle chatterbait came into play. So those were the three baits. Uh, I, every day, you know, I was throwing other stuff. Senkos, but these were the things I got my keeper bites on. And uh, kinda, I kind of changed up a lot. As a, as a coach, some of my, my pros say, man, you change up a lot. But I try and take advantage of the situation. I see submerged grass. Oh, I'll take that rivet frog out. Oh, I see a dock. Oh, I'll flip my little trip one by. You know, you kind of got to change up. Uh, try and do a little bit different than what your pro is doing. But don't spend a lot of time uh, retying in the bottom boat. That's what I found. And then uh, let me uh, let me grab this really quick. I want to show you guys. This is kind of the bag that I found this year. And this has really helped me stay organized as a co. It's that uh, Okuma backpack. I got my call tags that hang off the side. I got three fish. Uh, I'm able to keep my... Uh, live release my uh gulp alive and all my plastics stay up here there's that excite some kytex uh some senkos a bunch of stuff in there and then we've got in this pocket we've got uh just a bunch of tools uh some 12 pound tests for my leader some uh dip and die scissors stuff and like that then the bottom this is pretty cool you undo this better one zipped up but you undo this then you got all your boxes there, terminal tackle, jig box, top water box, and then my chatterbaits and spinnerbaits. So, I mean, uh, as you can see over here, kind of got a whole bunch of stuff, just got everything loaded up in the boat too, just all my stuff. So that, I just, I'll bring a lot of tackle with me uh, in the car, but then when I get there, I kind of condense down after practice, kind of figure out, dial in what, do you, what I think I'm going to be throwing based on what the pro says. Sometimes they don't tell you a lot, but... Uh, this backpack really came into play this week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out some of the cool stuff I was catching them on, that Excite Bait Slim Max, Max Tackle Chatterbait, and that Ribbit Frog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos.